Okay, so we looked at some horizontal and vertical lines in our last video, and here's our paper. What we want to do now is we want to talk about drawing some inclined or angled lines. All right, now let me go ahead and start with a new sheet of paper here, so we'll get rid of that one. Load us up a piece of paper here. Okay, and let's, let's state the obvious first of all. We've talked about how to do a horizontal line and talked about how to do a vertical line. What if we want to do one at an angle? Well, we use the same technique. Let's say we want to draw from here to here, where we start our point, put a point to where we want to go, again, look where we want to go, and we just simply draw our line to that point. So there we have an angle. But what if we need a specific angle? Like, I need a 45 degrees, okay? Uh, and that's a common angle that we use sometimes. Well, in that case, you might need to do a little bit of construction to make sure that you get a 45 degree angle. I see a lot of students say, okay, I'm gonna draw an angle, okay, that looks 45. Well, that is hardly a 45 degree angle. Okay, uh, I mean, that's pretty obvious. So if I draw a horizontal line here, a vertical line here, that's more like, I don't know, to me, that looks like about 30 degrees. Okay, that's not what we want. Well, we know some basic geometry. We know that if we draw a vertical line and a horizontal line, if those two lines are perpendicular, right, we know that that angle is 90 degrees. Right? So if we need a 45 degree angle, we know that that's going to be half of the 90 degrees. So we can draw a line right there, and we can see if I have equal angles here and here, if those two are equal, okay, theta 1 and theta 2, if theta 1 is equal to theta 2, we know that that should be 45 degrees, okay, on a, on a perpendicular angle. All right, so how do we draw a 45 degree line? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that concept. I'm going to get rid of this. And uh, this is where we now want to start using our construction weight. Okay, so let's say I have a need for a 45 degree angle somewhere in this area right here. So what I'm going to do, let me straighten up my paper here just a bit is I'm going to draw a horizontal line from here to here. Now, you can use your little points here if you need to do that. Now, notice I'm doing this in construction, okay? I'm doing that line in construction because that's not gonna be a part of the object I'm drawing. And then I need to do a vertical line, okay? So we'll do a vertical line. All right, now, if I've done that right, I should have something that looks like a right angle, okay? So again, we know from geometry that in order to draw a 45 degree angle, I need to split that in half. So basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be eyeballing that and cutting that in half. Okay, now it is an eyeball, this is where proportion comes into play, and uh, we'll talk about proportion in, in class, so, uh, or we may have already done that if you're viewing this later. So what we wanna do is try and do that and make it so that that angle is roughly equal to that angle. So now that can become our 45 degree line. And that just kinda of sets us off. So let's say I want a line that's about three inches, so I can figure out about three inches is right there, and I'll darken that in, go to that point, and you can see that I have roughly a three inch line going at, and I'm going to darken it in real well here for you, roughly at 45 degrees. So that's roughly a 45 degree angle. Okay? So that's how we can figure out and draw angles. All right, now, some of you may have already guessed, had the guess, you know, or figured it out that sometimes it's hard to do that. If, I, if I'm good, again, at drawing horizontal lines, and once I get that laid out, just rotate your your drawing paper around, just do a nice horizontal line. Just get where you need to go. If you're better vertical, move it so that that 45 degree line is more vertical to, towards your orientation, and then just draw it right back. Whatever it takes to do that, set it up. And that's how we can get an angled line, a 45 degree angle. Now, if you need 30 degrees, which is common with isometric drawings, okay, uh, and you'll be usually, when you're drawing isometric, when you're doing isometric sketching, you have an isometric grid, that's the preferred way, but we don't always have that. So what you're gonna need is some kind of frame of reference, so we need to kind of sketch that out. So let me go ahead and Get another sheet of paper here, and let me show you how I start an isometric drawing. Okay, now what I like to do is find roughly where that isometric drawing is going to be. So I'll say we'll do some light horizontal sketching or light uh, construction sketching here, and we'll say the corner of that object is going to be right there. So now I have a nice 90 degree angle. You can kind of see that there, and it's in construction grade lines. Okay, so now what I need is we know that an isometric, I'm gonna do an isometric box here, so we're gonna have a, a top view, a front view, and a right side view. But now we know we need a 30 degree angle off horizontal. This is our horizontal line right here, and we need 30 degrees off of here. Well, we know how to do a 45 degree angle. We have a right angle, and we cut it in half. Well, that's 90 degrees. If we need a 30 degree angle, what do we do? 
Exactly. You do the math and you third that angle. And that gets a little tricky. It takes a little bit of practice. So we do this one and I'm going to take that one, cut that. You see, hopefully if I've done this right, I've got about 30 and 60 and so I can cut that in half. And you kind of look and say, yeah, those look pretty equal. All right. So, but I also need one on this side. Once you draw one, it's typically easy to transpose that over here. So I'm going to come over here and do that one. And I'm kind of at an ang uh, uh, uncomfortable angle because I have the video camera here, but then I can do this right here and, and check this one out. Okay, and uh, that's not too bad. So the angles that I, or the, the lines that I want as part of my isometric are here. I'm going to darken that in and here. So there's my 30 degree, there's my 30 degree, and there's my 30 degree. So let's do a quick little box here. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here. I'm going to do a line from here to here. And we'll do a line from here to here. Okay, now again, I'm, I'm darkening these lines more so than I normally would, just so you can see this on camera. Okay, all right, and what I do when I start my isometric is if I have an isometric box, I'll draw, draw the rough dimension. So here's the height, the width, and the length of the object. Okay, so length, height, and width of the object. Now, all I'm doing is creating a series of parallel lines in order to finish my box. So if I want this view up here, or if I want this line up here to kind of close in this part of the box, then I can sketch some rough construction lines. And you see, I'm trying to make that parallel with this one because it would be. And I'm going to try and make a perfectly vertical line there. And then I'll do another vertical line over here. Okay, I'll try and make another. And notice I'm doing this in construction again because I'm not ready to lay down lead just yet. And then we'll do another one back here. And see, I kind of missed it, so I made an adjustment. And then I come in. And that's what I love about construction lines and construction weight ledge. You can kind of just get it laid out. And now you can see I have my corners for my isometric box right here, here, and here. And now I can take my lead and just kind of commit it to paper, basically, is what I'm doing. So I'll go from here to here. And we'll drop down from here to here. And we'll do another drop from here to here. Remember to look where you're going. Don't follow the tip. Look where you're going and draw to that point. And then we'll draw from here to here. And every once in a while, you'll notice here, it may, may be hard to see on video, but I, I noticed that as I was drawing that that wasn't exactly created. It wasn't perfect. So I just made a little shift as I went. I didn't need another construction line. I just recognized that fact as I was doing it. There we go. And that one didn't turn out so well because I got that weird angle. And there you go. And you can see we've got a pretty nice little isometric box. And we've got the front view, the top view, and the right side view. Okay, so that's how we can start the basics of creating an isometric drawing using our construction uh, grade line and using our object grade line. So nice little techniques. Remember, breaking up the angles, okay, 30 degree angle is a third of 90. Draw your 90 degree, break it up into thirds. So there you go. If you need 45, cut it in half. And uh, on a 45, you could use that with like um, an oblique drawing. Maybe you're going to do a cabinet or cavalier oblique. So. There's the basics of creating straight lines, parallel lines, and angles for isometric drawings.